Now for a look at stories making headlines around the world and we start with twin bombings in Iraq. Two suicide bombers killed at least 38 people in a busy street market in Baghdad on Monday. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So Adam, uh, Iraqi officials are calling the bombings terror attacks. Just uh, walk us through what happened. Well, Mark, officials say the back-to-back -back explosions occurred at Tehran Square in central Baghdad. Two men set off suicide bomb belts, the first one detonating his device at around 7 a.m. local time and the second coming shortly after. Tehran Square is a bustling commercial centre and a place where day labourers gather in the early morning waiting for jobs. Scores of those labourers were among the dead and more than 100 people are also said to have been injured. Videos circulating online showed vendors and locals fleeing the scene in panic with slippers scattered across the ground as they ran. No group has so far claimed responsibility for either attack, but they bore all the hallmarks of the Islamic State group. Monday's suspected terror attacks came just two days after a suicide bomber struck a police checkpoint in northern Baghdad, killing eight people there. Attacks in the city did seem to die down since IS lost its Iraqi strongholds last year, but extremist sleeper cells, sleeper cells still appear to be active. Analysts have warned that IS would increasingly turn to such guerrilla tactics as it was pushed underground. Following the twin bombings, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi called for these sleeper cells to be eliminated.